All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today, me and Virgil is doing the same float trip we did exactly one year ago, where we got blockaded in by a tree and had to climb out. Well, those people's house that we got out at are giving us permission to get out there again. So we are doing a seven mile, eight mile float. Half of it in Missouri, half of it in Arkansas. And primarily targeting smallmouth bass. Smallmouth and largemouth goggle eye. Pretty much anything, but I'm targeting a big smallmouth. We're using top waters, crankbaits in, soft plastics. Should be a good day, guys. It's complete overcast. The high is only going to be 84 degrees. It is currently June the 10th. Let's see what happens, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That's a nice one, too, man. Hell, yeah. Shadow bass, guys. In one foot of water. He came out from the end of that tree stump right here, man. Look how shallow it is, too. And he came out of that. Oh, man. He's eight inches, anyway. Awesome catch, guys, on the suicide jet Barbie. Oh, man. I love these things when they're this size like that. start to the day. I love these things and they are really common right here but as we go down they become more uncommon. That is a shadow bass and a nice one at that. All right guys we're on the board. I love those things. Oh shit, we're already about to get beast up, I think. Yep, I'm gonna have to walk through, I think. Maybe not. That tree is still laying here. It's been here for four years. This flat one. Smallmouth. I am after first smallmouth of the day. I've caught two fish out of four casts. It's not bad. They're definitely biting this morning. Little bitty six or seven inch smallmouth. But it is a fish. There's a lot of activity this morning. I see a lot of stuff. I Definitely goggle out. eye right there. Got him. <laughs> Long here. Definitely not what I was after. Three fish, three species.
Oh, that's yeah. small mouth, about 10 inches. Not the one I wanted, but I'll take him. I've missed two or three of them over here that were decent. He's better than the last one, though. About the same, looks like the same fish, but he's about an inch bigger, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he looks a little bigger. He's not horrible. <laughs> Fatter and thicker, anyway. All right, guys. Now they're small, eh? This one's about ten and a half, maybe. Still not the one I'm after. I had several. I had the hook set on and they kept getting off. I think I missed three altogether. <laughs> All right, Virgil's on one, guys. On the spinner bait, it's a big bass, man. That might be a smallie. Nice fish. It is a small mouth. That's a decent one, 13, 14, maybe. <coughs> Good job, man. That is awesome. On a quarter ounce, six cent spinner bait, guys. It's fighting pretty damn good too, isn't he? So I'm just letting him tire down. That's a big small mouth, man. Pretty sure. Yeah. Oh my, that is a nice one. You were fishing that log, weren't you? Yep. Right there. Yep. I could tell. I I thought about throwing there before you did. Ooh, I'm gonna start at this point, and that's exactly. I was actually. I just got hit too. I got hit real hard too, man. That's a nice small mouth boy. He's fairly hooked, isn't he? No, he's so oh, you hooked perfect, yeah. You hooked him right through the center of the top. <clears throat> nice fish, man. There we go. Goodness. I knew there was big small mouth in here. Really? I thought you got a bigger one out of uh little black before was that no, spotted I don't know, man. that was a large mouth i'm thinking of all right i'm gonna zoom because we're so far setting so far apart guys he thinks this is his pb small mouth i'd say he's 14 inches man i don't have my ruler let me I hold my use my paddle man that is nice yeah heck yeah that's a nice small mouth it's got a I got a I got a tape measure. Really? Yeah. You want me to measure it? See, on his back fin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess if you don't mind. Just hold him right there for a second. Yeah, right on the top of the mouth. God. Guys, well, I'm gonna guess 13 and a half to 14. It could be bigger. I'm usually, I knew that log had something. I just sensed it, man. Oh, 15. Oh my. So it's, it's about two pounds then. I'd say right at two pounds. Man, good job, man. That's a nice one. I knew there was some big small mouth in here because 
nobody can fish this river guys it is impossible for people to get in and out of here unless you have the level of dedication like me and Virgil it takes getting dropped off by somebody else and floating eight miles back down to your car going over trees going through trees my first spotted bass of the day and I didn't think they'd be up this far honestly but they are that is not a large mouth nice little spot he came unhooked and then got hooked again in the butt look at that holy cow he would have fell off if it wouldn't have hooked him again he literally I almost lost him he just happened to fall right on it weird Oh, it went in so good, I can't get it. God. And we're about to get sucked down. Yeah, that's some shit luck right there. Gosh dang it. Pliers ain't real easy to get to either. Oh, man. No. Oh, cool. Long ear. Nice little long ear. Yeah, like trying to eat something that's they have no business trying to eat. Big old god why holy Moses! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, man! That's like an 11 incher, man! Oh my god! This this is the biggest one I've caught in a long time. Oh my! That's like a freaking crappie! <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. Without a doubt, the biggest goggle I have caught in a while. Now, I thought it was just a little sunfish nipping at it. Now that is a goggle eye. Shadow bass. Oh, come on, buddy. Really, you're gonna just stay like that when I'm trying to film you? I'll show him. <laughs> Guys, that is one hell of a shadow bass. My gosh. Big and fat. Man, what a beauty. I'd like to keep them up there. Oh, uh, okay. This. Two and a half inches bigger. Yeah. Nice one. I got my good goggle eye for the day. I was wanting a big one of these. Boy, well, you can really tell these fish, uh, these rivers that don't get fished at all versus ones that get pounded, the difference. God, what a shame, man. That definitely would have been the fish of the day so far. I don't know, the smallmouth's kind of a better thing, really. This is definitely a good choice because it looks just like a crawdad, man. It just ain't gonna work everywhere. A lot of places, it, actually it'll be kind of good if it hits bottom and drags the gravel because 
because that'll happen. Oh my God. Right when I said that, did you see that? I said, this is actually good if it drags the gravel because this'll happen. <laughs> Oh my, right when I said we, huh, it's not, you would have had one by now. Guys, I switched to this Bandit 200 uh, spring crawl instantly, very first throw, got my largemouth and I was just mentioning that we haven't caught a largemouth yet and ba-boom. And then, yep. Bottom, oh my god. No, oh, okay. Missing his tail. That's a big male. Alright, I'm gonna have to have your help here, man. Here. It could go off at any time. Because it's been filming 25 minutes. It's still recording, it's showing the time. You may have to yeah, you won't have to zoom on us do this. That's a nice bass, guys. About th full three pounds on the On the bandit spring crawl. Hold on, I can't tell if I can, uh, am I on the screen? Bandit spring crawl, three pound male largemouth with a broken tail. Wowzers. Out right there. That's a nice cat. That's what we're after right there, the big boys. All right, that is awesome, man. Heck yeah. I'm gonna do this too. I think it'll help. Don't make any sudden real big jolts. All right, guys, look at that bass. What a hoss. I think I found the lure I like until this one gets cut off my damn gar. Hmm. Soft plastics, man, he, uh, you know what he did to that thing? Look at the paint already. He instantly took off a big old, no, it was something out. It was bubbles on it. Or, it looked like a big chunk was missing out of the paint. I had my, God. <laughs> Green sunfish. Now we've got another kind. This will eliminate the smallest. Yeah. Man. Keep, all right, say like you're gonna catch the like. That's strange. Right yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get an eight pound walleye next, guys. This is what I want for limb lines right there. All right, guys, green sunfish. Little guy, but pretty. Weird where the wind ends up taking us, man. I can't even get it through there. I'm gonna have to come all the way around. You got gravel or whatever. <sighs> there we go. I just gotta keep that crankbait out of that damn branch. <sighs> man, that, that's really barely getting through this damn place. We really have no idea what we're in for, do we? <laughs> we never do it. No. Oh my God, this could be worse than last time. Worse comes to worse, we got a phone though. I'm gonna almost have to go around this too, or in between here. I'll just meet you right here. Yeah, I just knocked a good chunk of that paint off. Alright guys, long ear, beautiful. Man, that's a male too, big old red male. Wow.
Awesome. Yeah. Green sunfish again. Cool. All right. I'll take those. I hate catching them on a treble hook though. God. There we go. Almost got it. There we are. All right, guys. Nice green sunfish. Got hit. There he is. Got him. There we go. It's not a sunfish. Oh my God. Holy hell. <laughs> what in the world? That's huge for a little creek, man. That's like duck creek size. I mean, not that big, but it's up there for. Good God. I, that's because you heard me say this definitely ain't a, a sunfish. Right. It was fighting like, like a damn bass. That was a close call, man. I think this is my personal best bluegill out of a creek. Damn close. Water's still nice and cool, though. It is cool to the touch all right guys nice blue river bluegill creek bluegill absolutely awesome looking whoa, whoa, whoa. careful Sorry, man. I had a spider going up my face that is a nice bluegill right there awesome spawning male color he's got black all over his top that's cool looking man right here all in black dots. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just sitting there looking at him while you were talking and just admiring like the blue on his face and everything. If we would have had a bucket, we could have kept several fish. The goggle eye, this, small one small mouth. We could have had a buffet. God, we got a lot of species today, actually. Spotted bass, large mouth, small mouth, goggle eye. Green sunfish, long ear, and bluegill. Six kinds. I think we've gotten everything we're going to get unless we get a gar or a bowfin or something. I wouldn't think bowfin's in here up this far because it's too cold. The water's too cold. They like that hot, hot, nasty water. All right, guys, I caught the first fish I've caught in probably two hours. Me and Virgil got rained on. We had to sit under a tree for about 30 minutes. Then we talked to a farmer for a little while. And after that, they kind of shut down. I lost a big three pound largemouth. But other than that, since the two big bluegill, or the big bluegill, I haven't caught nothing. This is a spotted bass about 10 inches. And I was just about to change my lure because I thought maybe that's part of the problem. And I think it's just the rain may have shut them down somewhat. We're hoping not, but it uh, seems like the bites really went down. Definitely could be bigger, but I'll take him. <laughs> All right, guys, another spotted bass. I noticed the further we get down river, the more common they are, and the less common largemouth and smallmouth are becoming. And goggle eye also are diminishing because there's less boulders and more mud banks. 
It's really changed a lot in the last mile. Not a bad little spot. It's pretty cool. We have the ability to catch a mean mouth down here also. It'd be nice if we can get one. Oh, Virgil's got a big one. Oh my. He just hooked into a big bass, guys. He's got a large mouth. I'm pretty sure that's a largey. It, ain't, it wasn't even that deep through here, man. Like three feet? This entire hole was only three foot deep, guys, but they were sitting in here. My Lord. Nope, it's a big spotted bass. Sure is. It's a good sized one, though. Yeah, it's spotted. Tell by the stripes. Man, it's not a bad fish, though. Yep really no wait a minute that's hard to tell yep spotted bass tell by the the lines on his belly the, that's a nice fish though man i want to zoom a little bit here that is not bad at all man a little bit up yeah there you go man that's that's a damn near pound and three quarters anyway that's a cool looking spotted bass, actually. It looks like the ones Richard Jean catches, those Alabama bass. I think of, uh... Parker's on a nice fish here. I think it may be a small mouth, too. No? Large mouth. No? Spotted bass, they've taken over, haven't they? Yep. I think the smallmouth are gone. Gotta be one here and there. That's definitely a spotted bass. That's like four in a row that were all spotted. So, you can tell they're increasing in numbers for sure. Yeah, I got a big one. Well, he sure fought a lot. I guess he was running down that current, what it was. Fat, though. He's like 12 inches, but look how big he is. It's pregnant, man. I think so. That's a big old spotted bass. He's big. Huh? Look at, that's why. He, I thought it was three or four pounds. When I first, when he first ran that way, I mean, I know my drag was tight or loose, but geez, you know what I mean? He was running like a little three or four pounder, man. All right, guys, we seem to be getting nothing but spotted bass now, unfortunately. The way this river is, when you get down to a certain point, and we've reached that point, it looks like. You would look at it and go, there's got to be still small mouth in here, but I think... They end about a mile back. Not a bad little spot. Yeah, I thought.